Hey everybody, it's Jason. Welcome back to Frank's Homestead. And if you've been following my videos, or watching them, I am remodeling this shed behind me into an office. And one of the last videos I did, not too far back, I said that uh, when the LED lights come in, I would do a unboxing and show you how, to, how easy they are to work with. And so, here they are. So this is a 12 pack of LED lights. This is by Amico, and uh, you can kind of read on the box here. Five CCT and one slim panel. Uh, they're recessed, so they're nice and flush with the ceiling. They're six inch. Uh, they're 12 watts each, and uh, 1,050 lumens on it. So, um, but it is dimmable and adjustable up to 5,000 K. When you open it up, you're going to find that there are some instruction manuals right here. So you've got that. You've got your 12 lights. This is what they look like. And the idea is that when you're putting them up into the ceiling, you fold these little ears up, slide it up in there, and then they hold it flush up inside there. Three of these. Okay, and this is your pattern for your hole. Here is the box. So as you see here, this is the part right here that's going to connect to your light, right there. And this just goes up in your ceiling. It has a little adjustment right here. It goes from 2700K to 5000K on your lights. And it's got two knockouts on each side. And to open it, you just kind of, there's a little dimple on each side here, and you open it up just like that. And the best part about these lights, which makes it so simple, is it got these little guys right here. I don't know exactly what the specific name of them is, but basically your wire, once you strip it, you're just going to plug it right into there, and you're done. You move on to the next light. The first thing I want to do is pretend that this is your ceiling here even though it's laying flat this way, but you're gonna have to locate and mark out where you want your lights to go. All right, so one thing I used when I did the holes in my ceiling in there, I just used a regular nail and just roughly looked at it, looked like a good spot for center. Like for me, it wasn't that critical that it was exact center. Then I just pushed it through. So then I found my marks I made on my ceiling after measuring it out and I pushed, got to use the nail to push right on my mark and then I just pushed it into the drywall. That kind of holds it up on the ceiling for you and then I put pressure on it with my hand, took my pencil and just drew an outline around it. Pulled out the nail, there I got my circle. I suggest that you do this first. That way you can look at your pattern on your ceiling and see if it looks good to you. Okay, so now you're gonna have your pattern on your ceiling. And like I said, I like using a drywall saw. It's much easier. So poke it through, and you wanna stay on the inside of the line. Try not to cut outside of it because you don't have a lot of room for tolerance. So now you got all your holes cut for your lights. Get your wire. Take your utility knife and lightly scribe that exterior jacket on your wire. You can cut off the excess then carefully, not to nick any of the sheathing on the wires. I'm only doing about three inches of wire, and I'm only going to take off about half an inch at the end. Should look like that. Okay, so if this is your first box in the series that you're running, you're going to want to knock out two of these. Once you got that popped out, take your clamp, just put it in a hole like that. Take your little washer nut here and screw it on. Take these, and usually they're loose enough, you can just loose back them off by hand. It's a little quicker, but if you do this step first, it makes your life a little simpler. Okay, so now this box is ready. So if you're doing it like in your living room and you may have floor joists, you'll have to get a drill and a drill bit to drill through 
that joist that might be in between your holes, okay? So you just have to kind of line them up and then you'll have to fish your wire through those holes kind of by hand. You're just gonna have to reach up in there and go that route until you get them all wired through. Now this is just for demonstration, so I'm just using a piece of scrap wire that I had left over after wiring in the office. Basically, you could do this, like I said, all from the ground floor. You don't have to get up in the attic, but you do gotta fish it through. You reach through, find it, and pull it through. Okay, once you fish it through from being down on the floor, just get one of these clamps on the box, push all three wires through, until the casing of that wire is just barely poking through. Just doesn't have to be far at all. I don't know if you can see that very good, but like that, okay? Once that's done, then you gotta just tighten that clamp. Your main power that's coming in from your light source, or your light switch, is going to come into this box and you're gonna do the same exact thing. Okay, once that's done, like I said, it's real straightforward. Now, I'm not going to plug these in because I haven't seen a way on here that I can unplug them from these, but it's really straightforward. So all your bare ground wires are going to be connected into the back of the green. Put it in the hole and push until it locks. You'll fill it and then make sure you pull it to make sure it's tight. You'll do that for the green. The black goes to black. The white goes to white. Really straightforward. Make sure after locking each one in, you pull back on this little holder here and make sure it's locked in place. Then you just gotta start bending all your wires back in to your box. And you'll get them in there. And then close the top of your box. So then you can just push this back up into your ceiling and it'll sit up in there, leaving this hanging down. Now comes the light. There's a little flat spot inside here and a little flat spot on this male end, and they fit together. It's only gonna go in there one way. It's got this little, little nut here, tighten them up. I found that the easiest way is just take one side, push it down, and then slip it into place. And then do the other one. Just like that. Make sure that your little washer is tucked in properly like it's supposed to be. And that's what it's gonna look like. You're done with that light. Now you move on to the next. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind, when you get to your very last light, you're only gonna knock out one of these holes. And the reason is because you've got nothing else coming out of it. That's for later if you decide to expand but only knock out one on your very last light that you're doing. Okay, for the sake of time on the video, I've got seven of them ready to go. You got the wire going through that hole you're just gonna cut it where you need it do the same thing so I did put the lights on a dimmable rocker switch you see it's really nice and bright in here definitely have plenty of light with these if you get these types of lights make sure you get a compatible dimmer switch because uh, not all of them are compatible but um, I got these off of Amazon I'll put a link below Second thing, these are rated um, to be covered with insulation, which is a plus. Not all of them are that way, but these ones are. So since I'll be putting R19 up here in the attic, I'm just be able to lay it right over the top of them and not have to worry about a fire danger. So 
Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching.